Falls Count Anywhere matches are the definition of unpredictable, guys. We could be in for anything here tonight. That's true, Michael, but I'm sure these superstars have some thoughts in mind already. Some interesting locations they'd love to drag this fight to where they can really up the ante. And he's able to counter. Close line! Off with their head. And a series of vicious stomps. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. The stomp in every single part of his body. Oh, just in case the first few didn't hurt, there's another. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Isolating their opponent's arm, and oh! Oh, stop right to the hand. Batista's being picked apart here. The apex predator decimating Batista. The stomp in every single part of his body. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Quick exchange of counters there. And Batista needed that badly. Now's a chance for Batista to get back into this match. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Rapid fire right hands. Practically never ending blows. Coming at full force here. Goodness gracious. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Randy completely dictating the pace here. Orton is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Uh-oh. Elbow drop, big time! Batista finds the advantage. This could do it! Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Pulls their opponent in, belly to belly. And what's the difference between preparing for a Falls Count Anywhere match versus, say, a no DQ? In a no DQ or Extreme Rules match, you'd at least have to be pinned in the ring. But not here. There truly is no safe harbor, so it's important to mind your surroundings. Able to get out of the way. Ooh, focused attack on the neck. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Batista needs to find the beast within him now. Oh, here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? And a kick out at only one. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Oh, Jory, spine buster by Batista. Is it enough? The cover! He kicks out at two. He just won't give up. Orton with great ring awareness. Raining down right hands. Oh, this is bad, guys. Batista is bleeding. Unloading with an uppercut. Running near. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Uh, uh, oh, uh, no, wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Draping DDT. Orton's planning it into the cover. Uh. Almost ended it there. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. But you gotta wonder if that was his last breath. Horton is going to have to keep his composure moving forward. He thought he'd put him down with that one, and now he's got to think of another way. And now Batista's being dismantled. Things can get grim in a hurry if Batista doesn't turn this around. The sadistic mind of the viper and rage of the animal are at war. This is what competition in WWE is all about. Both men are on a mission to wipe each other out. Climbs back inside. And 
Batista gets warded off. The Viper strikes RKO. Batista looks knocked out. Two. And Randy Orton is your winner. stand victorious over Batista in a major victory. Orton continues to be a legend killer as he takes down his former teammate. This is definitely not what Batista wanted.